it was really cold last night. Kind of night that makes the trees snap. I was out before dawn. It's, it's my favorite time of the day to see the sun break over the ridge and bring light to a new day. Lots of animal life this morning. You have to feed a lot longer when it's this cold. Anyway, it's going to be a beautiful day and I'm going to be building a bridge today. We sure do have some friendly deer in these parts because they're always waving at me. So against my better judgment, I'm peeling logs again. And as I've mentioned in a number of times, the time you don't peel a log is in a month that's got an R in it. And this is January. Anyway, building a bit of a bridge. So we've got a, a stream that runs by our cabin. It does pretty much dry up in the summertime, but in the spring with the snow runoff, there's, it's actually rapids going down here. And uh, 
Yeah, so I'm going to have cold moccasins today, but I'm going to have dry moccasins next spring because I'm going to be able to walk across those rabbits instead of through them. Anyway, I'm going to get this done, and I've got uh, I've got one log left over from the log build down there that I was going to use for the peak piece, but I decided uh, before I put it up that it wasn't big enough being the strongest member of the cabin. So I'm going to drag that up for the second member, and then I'm going to throw out some from uh, boards to cover it with. So uh, I got it down, I got it out, I got it peeled, and uh, I was getting a tad angry in the bush there because the uh, thing hung up on me. It's pretty hard getting trees down in a cedar woodlot by hand. And it reminded me a quote of Ralph Waldo Emerson, um, and I, I think this is verbatim. Uh, he, he said, for every minute you spend angry, you lose 60 seconds of peace of mind. So yeah, there's no sense getting angry. And while I'm on the topic of 19th century American uh, literature. Um, it, it sort of took the world by storm at that time. It was new thinking from, from the old world, if you would. So some of my go-to books are, are Emerson, obviously, uh, Thoreau, and, uh, and my real go-to is, is Walt Whitman. <laughs> I, can, I can quote Walt Whitman verbatim all day long. Anyway, got some work to do.
one actually spends time observing the creatures of Mother Earth, they start to see the patterns. So the first bird to wake up in the morning is always the junco, and uh, followed very shortly after by the cardinal. And well, those <clears throat> those blue jays, they're, they're sleepy heads, they like to sleep in. They say that animals and birds, they can't reason, but the, uh, we're looking at a bunch of cedar wax wings here. There's actually hundreds in the woodlot. And uh, they'll actually, they're, they love to eat berries. And so they'll line themselves up on a limb and the one at the very end of the limb will pick a berry and they pass it down the line until the last one's got one. And then it picks another berry and the second last one gets one and so forth till they've all had a berry. So, yeah, I think they can reason. Thank you. 